Hello everyone, my name is Tintin Nguyen and I am a second year undergraduate student at the University of Arizona. Today, I will present on my research project titled No Geodesics and Observational Signatures of Curled Naked Singularities. So what are naked singularities? Naked singularities in general are gravitational singularities not protected by an event horizon. There can be different theoretical scenarios that can lead to this physical phenomenon. But my main focus are curved naked singularities governed by the curve metric, which describes rotating uncharged black hole in general relativity. Because we have observed curved black holes numerous times in nature, it is the most natural way to construct naked singularities by overspinning the black hole to a spin higher than its mass. Here, I normalize its mass as one. Penrose cosmic censorship conjecture predicts that all singularities need to be hidden from an observer outside by an event horizon, but there is no conclusive mathematical proof to validate this. Thus, observing naked singularities would have important implications for physicists to revise what they thought the limit to a black hole spin. In addition, if these objects exist, the lack of an event horizon would allow astrophysicists to probe the structure of the ring singularity and gain insights into the quantum effects in a significant gravitational field. More importantly, the primary motivation of this study is the recent success of the Event Horizon Telescope, which now can resolve supermassive black hole at event horizon scale, so it is sensitive enough to potentially distinguish naked singularities with regular black holes. We can compare numerical simulations with Event Horizon Telescope observations to test the weak cosmic censorship conjecture in the Kerr solution. For this numerical study, I set up an observer grid that is 10,000 times mass of the black hole away with an inclination angle with respect to the z-axis defined to be perpendicular to the ring singularity. The grid has coordinates alpha and beta, which are related to conserved quantities energy E, angular momentum L, and Carter's constant C of the photon. I send light rays on the grid towards the naked singularity by integrating null geodesics backward in time in Cartesian Kirchhoff coordinates. This study is purely about null geodesics with no radiative transfer yet, but they can already predict some interesting observational signatures. I'll start discussing some of my results. For regular black holes with spin A less than 1, both prograde and retrograde orbits have unstable spherical photon orbits which distinguish trajectories that terminate at the singularity and those that can escape back to infinity. However, for naked singularities, on the equatorial plane, only retrograde orbits have spherical orbits, which provide the same distinction between trapped and escaped photons like regular black holes. This creates a possibly zero measure projection of the naked singularity. All prograde orbits arriving from infinity can escape back to an infinity in this scenario. For each light ray on the observer grid, I compute the deflection angle. On this visualization which spin 1.5 and inclination angle 75 degree, the redder region represents higher deflection angle, meaning the photons are coming back to the observer. The bluer region represents a lower deflection angle, meaning the photons are going through the singularity and not coming back to the observer. Compared to regular black holes, spherical orbit only exists for certain prograde orbits of the equatorial plane, so the analytical projection of the spherical photon orbit, which is shown yellow here, is not a full circle. Because of this, many previous papers predicted that the apparent shape of naked singularities is like a wedge. However, from this deflection angle visualization, it seems like prograde orbits have a circular region that deflect directly back as well. These prograde orbits can still rotate around the naked singularities multiple times, despite not rotating an infinite number of times like the regular spherical photon orbit. This suggests that it is possible to have a well-defined photon ring for naked singularities, but we have to investigate the winding index and the radio effective potential of these regions before we can make any conclusive predictions. 
Another interesting feature of naked singularities is inside the projection of the spherical orbit, we can see the mirror-like regions where light goes back to the observer and lens-like region that are transparent. These regions are only possible due to the lack of an event horizon that allows photons to escape. So these form observational signatures distinctive from regular black holes. I want to also note that the numerical method that we implement becomes very unstable near the naked singularity, so I wouldn't trust these really shaped white region. For null geodesics, we expect the dot product of the momentum vector with itself to be zero, but this quantity diverges to roughly 0 0.001 near the singularity in the numerical study. And however, this condition is obeyed well with the other region on this graph, so the rest of the visualization is generally reliable. Now I will show a series of deflection angle visualizations with fixed spin A equals 1.19 and varied inclination angle. We will start with zero degree inclination angle, which is phase on. As I increase the inclination angle, transitioning from phase on to edge on, the apparent shape of the naked singularity shifts rightward. The lens and mirrors region inside the spherical orbit seem to transition continuously as I increase the inclination angle. Now I will keep the inclination angle fixed at 75 degree and increase spin A. For larger spin, the projection of the ring singularity becomes clear as you look at the center of this visualization. Also, the apparent shape shifts rightward as spin increases. The mirror and lens structure appears to shift continuously as well. When we get to extremely high spin, the ring singularity grows very large and the photons mostly scattered off instead of spinning around and deflecting directly back. This shows that an extremely high spinning naked singularity has weaker observational signatures. Now I will fix the spin at 5.66 and vary the inclination angle. As the inclination angle changes from edge on to face on, we begin to see the projection of the ring singularity clearer, but because the photons are scattered off too strongly, there is no other notable observational signatures. For the next step of this project, we will improve the numerical methods, look into the winding index and radio effective potentials for spherical orbits, and find the projection of the naked singularity to have a better understanding of the null geodesics surrounding naked singularities. Our long-term expectation is to implement radiative transfer to simulate a complete picture of naked singularities with its thermodynamic and magnetohydrodynamic properties. Here is a summary of my talk. Thank you very much for attending my presentation. I would like to thank my mentors, Dr. Chi Kwon Chan and Dr. Pierre Christian for the many fascinating conversations we have shared on this topic. Thank you to the Black Hole Pi Group for funding my project. Thank you to the Theoretical Astrophysics Program at my college and the Astrophysics and Gravitational Physics Department at the APS for sponsoring my travels. Here are the references for my project. Once again, thank you very much for listening and have a nice day.